Vietnam is one of the most visited countries for tourism in Southeast Asia. It offers so many exciting things for its visitors, from the breathtaking vistas of Halong Bay to promising business opportunities in the city, Hanoi is the place to be for tourists and locals alike. With a population of 9 million living in the city, there is only a small number of Adventists. Yet this is an opportunity for the church to reach more people for Christ. The Adventists here constructed a seven-story building as an urban center of influence in Hanoi to meet the needs of the local community. Uh, on our first floor, we have a bookstore that is open to the community where people can come in and uh, purchase books that can help them to grow in their walk with the Lord. We have uh, English language school that we are able to build relationships with individuals. We are reaching out to the community by uh, ministering to uh, children that are needing help with their education. The church meets here in the building uh, on a regular basis. From healthy cooking classes to a running club that meets every Sunday morning, they have a lot of fun with their community. The center's activities have allowed them to build strong partnerships and even friendships with government officials. An opportunity has arisen for us to partner with the uh, Religious Affairs Committee of uh, Vietnam, and we are teaching English there on, in their building to 28 of their staff members. Uh, all the way from uh, receptionists, secretaries, to uh, the top of the Religious Affairs Committee. Through these activities, the center's workers and volunteers hope to be a shining example of Christ's method of ministry. They want to share and introduce Christ's love to everyone. Without this purpose, this building is only a building like any other. The Center of Influence is just that. It's a, it's a place to to provide influence. It's a place that influences the community. It's a place that uh, provides space and opportunity for the church to, to meet and mingle with people, to uh, build relationships, friendships, to, to build trust and to win their confidence. And when the opportunity arises to offer them a relationship with Jesus Christ. With growing demand for their services, this ministry is also facing some serious challenges. But the challenges are, are real. It's a city of nine million people. The church here in the Hanoi area is small, so we don't have a lot of manpower to, uh, to draw from in uh, working in the center of influence here. We need volunteers to fulfill the calls that we have out. Uh, we need volunteers from the local church uh, to partner with us in the ministry. We have calls out for international volunteers to come. Uh, we have not had a lot of response from that yet. And so uh, we're still needing people to come and uh, do ministry here from abroad. Despite challenges and setbacks, God is still using His workers to bless others. Some of the students in the center's English class have gotten a glimpse of Christ's character through their teachers. They are all really patient, yeah, really, really patient. That's what I, I cannot see in the, some other, you know, name, language center or something. Uh, I feel refreshed because the teacher here, you know, that they is friendly, generous, and they try to close their student here. To see people come to the, the language classes and then they, they start coming to church and you know that God is at work that He is doing things. God can work miracles. So we're looking forward to seeing what He has in store for us. Please pray for this urban center of influence in Vietnam. Pray so that the Lord of the harvest will open hearts and send more laborers to this place. If you feel impressed to serve, visit vividfaith.org to browse open calls from around the world. Please support projects like this through Global Mission.